So my name is uh, Dario Unutmaz. Uh, I am an immunologist. Uh, I've been trained as a physician, but I've been doing research for the past 35 years. Uh, my main focus is really trying to understand how the immune system works, both in a uh, basic manner, but also in the context of diseases, especially chronic diseases. Uh, how can we exploit the immune system against cancer, uh, aging, and, and uh, other conditions? You know, I have great empathy to the patients. And one of the things that really drove me to ME-CFS is seeing uh, how much these, uh, these patients uh, suffer. Myalgic encephalitis, chronic fatigue syndrome, it basically uh, is a disease that's a very heterogeneous disease, chronic disease uh, that has uh, very serious symptoms such as fatigue, pain, cognitive problems. And so uh, to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel is uh, super uh, gratifying. What is microbiome, first of all? Uh, uh, actually, uh, it's, uh, it's probably the largest system in our body. Uh, there are trillions of bacteria that live in our gut and some in our skin. In fact, there are more bacteria in our body than there are cells. Uh, so, uh, and they, these bacteria actually are part of us. They produce thousands of chemicals. Uh, what we call metabolites, and these metabolites affect pretty much all our biology, especially the immune system and the nervous system. The goal from the very beginning is to collect lots of samples from the patients. In fact, we had about 150 patients, 100 uh, very uh, closely matched healthy controls uh, from the same environment. Um, uh, and uh, we collected uh, very meticulously uh, blood samples, uh, microbiome samples, and also uh, blood metabolites. Uh, we've done, uh, we looked at thousand different metabolites in the blood of each patient. And of course, we performed very detailed immune profiling. So we looked at different cell types, immune cells, the cytokines produced, and so on and so forth. So this was, this was a tremendous um, uh, data set uh, that we collected over a period of uh, five years almost. And then we applied uh, artificial intelligence. And so uh, we call it Biomap AI because the goal was we have this massive set of data, millions of bits of data. How do we make links between all of these uh, uh, all of these data points. So one of the one of the key things that we described is that we found uh, special links between the microbiome and the uh, neurological symptoms or the cognitive problems, the emotional problems. You know, going back to uh, this frustration that uh, patients are told it's all in the in your head. Yes, the, it is. Uh, some of it is in your head, but it's a it's a biological problem. Uh, it's not a psychological problem. Uh, things are changing. Uh, things are being disrupted because of the microbiome and metabolites. So we, we were able to biologically link. Uh, whatever was in the head uh, into into microbiome and part of it to, to the immune system. What I would call one of the holy grails of medicine is to really personalize the diagnosis and the treatment to the patient. You have to treat the patient, not the disease. Unfortunately, you know, I went to medical school and we were taught to, to treat the disease. So we treat diabetes, we treat, uh, you know, heart disease. We don't treat that person's diabetes. And so I think this study shows that uh, in complex chronic diseases, you have to focus on uh, you know, what's wrong in that patient or in that group of patients, and let's just fix that. Uh, it's not just uh, you know, one size fits all.